back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the new and improved Shape Tape. They have launched a ultra creamy version of the original iconic Shape Tape. Now, I am almost 42, so right up here on the screen is my age and skin concerns and all of that. And as we all know, as we age, your under eyes get a little bit more drier, the skin gets a little bit thinner, a little bit more transparent, uh, so the dark circles start peeking through. And Shape Tape has just not really worked for me because it was just too dry. So back in November, I had noticed that the Ultra Creamy Shape Tape was launched on the QVC website. I was very, very curious because who doesn't love an Ultra Creamy concealer? And it's Shape Tape, so I was curious. So I went ahead and picked it up. I was under the assumption that it kind of launched early on the QVC website, and then it would relaunch in December, like officially launch in December but that day never came. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, did they decide not to do this? Like I was starting to get a little bit worried because I have fallen madly in love with this concealer. It's everything that I love in a concealer. And so many of you guys have heard me talk about this concealer coming back. In fact, when they finally announced that it was available to purchase, I had so many of you guys reaching out on Instagram, tagging me, sending me DMs. Tara, is this the concealer you've been talking about? I'm like, yes, it's a miracle. I was so happy. I know, I get a little bit emotional about makeup. So. Normally I would come on camera and, you know, review it where I compare it to other products and all of that. But let me tell you, I have been using this since the middle of November. So I've been wearing it for a very long time. I know how it wears. I know how it compares to all of these other concealers out on the market. And we're gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna share with you guys my experience with this concealer and why I fell in love with it and how it does uh, compare to other concealers out in the market. So this is the original Shape Tape right here. And it this new one looked exactly the same. This is the packaging that they uh, uploaded on the QVC website, but it's now a different packaging. And I'm wondering if the packaging maybe delayed the launch of it. I'm not sure, that's just speculation, but I'm kind of curious because the only difference between the ones that I have, which this is the original, is this has a light purple sticker on the bottom. And that was the only way that I could tell a difference between the two. Although I really don't use the old one, so it's never really in my concealer drawer anyway. Let's go to their website so I can give you all the information. So these retail for $27 and they come in all the original Shape Tape shades, which is what I really, really appreciate by the way. It is our iconic Shape Tape concealer now with a built-in eye cream for 24 hour hydration. So it's a full Full coverage natural moisturizing matte finish. It has ultra nourishing prickly pear for 24 hour hydration. It is for all skin types, especially for dry and mature skin. Uh, I love that. So leave skin looking hydrated, never dry or flat. It's creamy cushiony formula won't cake or settle and skin looks smoother, plumper and more youthful. Cushion tape technology helps smooth and reduce looks of fine lines, wrinkles, and pores. Waterproof and 12-hour crease proof. It also comes in a travel size, which is pretty awesome. So let me just go ahead and get into my experience. I will show you guys how it applies and how I apply it. I will be doing a wear test on this, so I'll show you what it looks like in the natural daylight six hours later, and then I will do a 12-hour check-in so you can see how it wears. But I'm gonna use this time right now to share with you why I love it and how it compares to other popular uh, concealers out on the market. So let's start with why I love this concealer. Everything they just mentioned. When I first started really getting into makeup, I was of course using Shape Tape. I thought it was an amazing full coverage concealer. But as I begun to get a little bit older and I was probably mm, mid thirties, Shape Tape just became way too drying for me. It just, 
every time I use shape tape, it just looks so, it ages me. It attaches to every wrinkle. It's just too dry, right? So it's a very full coverage drying formula. It looks amazing. Like my daughter, it's one of her favorite concealers. And a lot of the teenagers that I know really, really love it. So when I stopped using the shape tape, I went ahead and bought the Tarte Creases Concealer. And from the beginning of my channel, many of you guys have been with me since the beginning. This was one of my all-time favorite concealers. It's extremely hydrating. It's a very emollient-based concealer. I will wear this on those days where I'm wearing kind of a more dewier foundation and I want just more of a dewier makeup look because I still really do like this concealer. But this is not a concealer that likes to be set with powder. So that was the drawback with the Tarte Creaseless. It does look really beautiful on wrinkles and you know, dry, mature under eyes and stuff. The drawback with this is that if you put powder on it, it's a, not a good combination. This concealer just doesn't really play well with powder and it doesn't ever really truly set down on the skin. It just, it kind of just gives the skin that nice glow, which is not a bad thing, especially if you don't really powder your under eyes. However, if you use too much of it, it can be too much hydration. So it's kind of like a balancing. The new Ultra Creamy is almost like, it's almost like the original Tarte Shape Tape and the Creaseless kind of came together, together and had a little baby. That's kind of the formula. It's very creamy and it gives you that hydration, but it also sets down like the traditional Shape Tape does. This one doesn't quite set down. So it kind of depends on what you're looking for. But this one, in my opinion, kind of gives me the best of all of the worlds. So it gives me the full coverage. It gives me that more matte look. It's a, but it's a very hydrated matte look. So it sets down, it stays put all day, it looks very beautiful underneath the eyes. It's not exaggerating my wrinkles. From the day I first used it, I fell madly in love with it. Now, how does it compare to some of the other popular full coverage concealers? Let's start with how it compares to the Pat McGrath. This is the Pat McGrath. The Pat McGrath, I think, is a little bit thicker of a formula than the Shape Tape. You can see how far I'm able to drag this. This is not as, it, this is a thinner formula. The Pat McGrath is pretty full coverage. I think it's got more coverage than this Ultra Creamy Shape Tape, in my opinion. It's got more coverage, but the Ultra Creamy Shape Tape has more moisture than the Pat McGrath. You can see just here on my hand, see, this is the Tarte Ultra Creamy. You can see the shine. This is the Pat McGrath. So the Pat McGrath sets down. The Pat McGrath isn't as emollient. It's not as hydrating, but it does have more coverage. But the Pat McGrath is very beautiful. For me, I have to use just a little bit of it. If I accidentally use too much of the Pat McGrath, it's it's too much and it really will weigh heavy in my under eyes throughout the day. So I have to be a little bit more cautious with the Pat McGrath. You can still see, I mean, I've had these on my hand for a couple minutes now and this one still has such a shine to it. It does have a creamy base to it than the Pat McGrath. So how does it compare to the new Hourglass Vanish? This is again, one of my favorites. This one for me is more of a smoothing concealer. It really smooths things out more so than any other concealer that I have, except for the new one that I just bought from um, By Terry. By Terry, that new Hydra concealer has that same smooth texture, which I will be uploading a video of me using that concealer uh, in the next couple of days. But anyway, this one from Hourglass, it's a very, it's a thicker formula. It's, I would say it's a little bit more hydrating than the uh, Pat McGrath, although it does set down exactly the same way as the Pat McGrath. So you can see the finish of this is the Hourglass next to the Creamy. And I didn't wipe off the Tarte Ultra Creamy Concealer. I've just left it there so you can see the shine that it maintains even after it dries. This is the Hourglass. Now this is a very smoothing formula, but again, it's also for coverage, but again, it's similar to the Pat McGrath concealer. You have to be careful. If you use too much, it is too much on that under eye and it can kind of build up and get thick. It is one of my favorite concealers, but I do have to be, again, 
more cautious when I use it, but it is a nice full coverage and it does smooth the under eyes in a very beautiful way. Okay, let's talk about this one from Giorgio Armani. So this is the Luminous Silk uh, Concealer from Armani. Now these two are kind of similar. I would say the Tarte Shape Tape definitely has more coverage. So this new Ultra Creamy Shape Tape has more coverage, in my opinion, than this Luminous Silk. But you can still see that this one kind of dries into more of a satin finish. And even though this is a satin finish, the Ultra Creamy from uh, Tarte, it still is staying hydrating. It still has a little bit of a shine to it. You can see that this one from Armani less coverage definitely i would say the armani is probably a light medium you could probably build it to a medium but you really wouldn't want to because then you'd have to use too much of it and it, you might run the risks of it weighing a little bit heavy on the under eyes so it depends i always say if you need full coverage find a full coverage concealer that gives you good coverage but just use less i don't really ever recommend building coverage on the under eye for mature skin because it just the more you build the more it's just going to get thicker and cakey on the under eye but as you can see my biggest problem with the armani is i've never been able to find the right shade this one legit turns gray on me i think this one is in the shade six and it just turns gray i just i can't i can't wear it but it does have a little bit of a shine to it but i mean you can still see i've had this on my hand for probably five minutes now and i still have a shine to it but it's set down so even though my hand has a shine to it it's set down it, it it's it sets itself okay, so let's compare it to the dior skin correct so this has been one of my favorites as well okay and let's kind of blend this one out Again, this one I would say is probably the most similar to this new one from uh, Tarte. It has that creamy texture to it and it has the hydration, but it also sets down like a traditional matte would. The only difference in my opinion is this one sets down more so than the Tarte uh, ultra creamy so you can see I've lost the shine right here but I've still maintained it here on the Tarte ultra creamy um, but this one is a really beautiful concealer and again uh, less is more with it um, but I really really like the Dior skin correct but the only difference is the finish I think they have probably the similar amount of coverage but I think the Dior skin correct is a little bit more on the satin matte side than the ultra creamy shape tape let's talk about the Too faced born this way multi-use concealer so this one is the born this way born this way concealer i think dries faster than the ultra creamy shape tape so it does set down into a very soft satin finish and it dries much quicker though so for me every time i use the born this way i really gotta work quick it's not that it dries super fast but you don't really have time to kind of sit there and kind of play with it you really want to get it put it on blend it out and it sets up though that is the nice thing about the Too Faced born this way is it sets up into like a very natural satin matte finish uh, but it's definitely not as creamy as the ultra creamy shape tape so that's definitely the difference but you can still see it's got a little bit of a shine to it um, but the ultra creamy is still still got a real beautiful shine after it's dried and set down let's talk about the Charlotte Tilbury uh, oh I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this one off the problem with the Charlotte Tilbury is that if you don't use it it dries up inside the cap and you can't get it off like I have to run it if you don't use it for a while you have to run it underneath hot water to get it to come off it's a pain in the ass five minutes later okay I finally got it it just gets caught up inside here and around here and it just like melts and like molds together it's really difficult so this is a magic away concealer from Charlotte Tilbury this is not my favorite concealer it's way too thick in my opinion especially for aging under eyes um this is one that you got to be very careful and not to use very much you only want to use what's on the tip you really don't want to bring too much in because she is very very thick now yes i would say it is a good coverage 
but you have to be so, so, so careful with this concealer. Wish that she would release something that was a little bit more hydrating because this has been very drying for my under eyes. I've tried to make it work several times. Even I will apply like an eye cream and then go over top of it with the Magic Away Concealer, and it's just way too drying for my under eyes. I would say the finish between these two are very similar, the coverage is very similar, but this is just really, really thick. And, and then finally, we have the actual original Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm gonna show you guys what this one looks like next to this Ultra Creamy. Now, I don't think these are the same color. Uh, I have the 35N Medium in the original, and I have the shade uh, 36S, which is medium tan sand in the ultra creamy. So they're not gonna be the same shade, but you can see it's such a beautiful, smooth formula and it really blends out so beautifully. But you'll see in just a minute that it dries and it's matte. It's a matte, matte finish. And you can see I've maintained this shine. I mean, this has been sitting in my hand for probably 15 minutes now. And I've maintained the shine from the Ultra Creamy. And you can already see that the, the original Shape Tape is matte. I mean, it's set down. Once it's dried, it is matte. And it's, it's good for those who want a really matte uh, concealer. But for those who don't want that matte concealer, it's too much. I mean, you can see the difference between these two. This is for sure more of a matte formula, and this just gives such a beautiful shine to the skin. Okay, so this is the Creaseless Concealer, and this one is also from Tarte. So as you can see, this one is very shiny. This one is more of a satin shine. This one is more of a emollient shine. Okay, so that's all of the comparisons. Let's go ahead and jump into the applications, and I will see you guys in my next check-in. like to do this is I like to wipe off the applicator. I pretty much do this with all of my concealers. Everybody kind of has their own way of applying concealers and it's whatever works for you. There's always this like stigma when it comes to applying concealers. They're like, oh my gosh, you apply way too much or oh my gosh, you're not applying too much. We all have our own ways of applying makeup. I like to wipe off the applicator so that I'm not using a big glob of it because I like to build up coverage. So let me show you. So I take the wand and I basically wipe it all the way around so that there's no like big globs of concealer. There's just a little bit still left on the applicator. So then I like to use the actual applicator, what's on it, and do it on both sides. So I'm really technically not really applying that much, but I do it because I like to apply my concealers all the way down here. And I also like to build up the coverage. So by using what's on the applicator, I'm not really applying that much. And I'm also letting it set up on the skin. You know, there is that thing with concealers that if you spread it out and let it set before you start moving it, before you start blending it into the, into the skin, it will build up a little bit more coverage. So that's just my preferred way. Now, a lot of people will just take like a dot of it like this that's on the tip and they'll just go like this you know, and that's fine. They are able to spread it out and apply it. I'm gonna go ahead and just take my brush and I just start doing these stippling motions and I start kind of stippling it and kind of pushing it into the skin with the brush. Okay. And then I like to go in with a sponge that's dampened, but we'll go in and push it into the skin. And this will also pick up whatever's left on my skin. So it allows me to not have a lot sitting on top of the skin because this is like a clean sponge. So it will kind of absorb any extra that I have sitting on top. But I've also built up the coverage that I want and I have it really smooth in the areas that I like the concealer. Now, some people don't like their concealer down here in this, this area. And that's totally any, you know, we're all different. We all like our concealers different places. And for me, I like my concealer right here in this area. By the way, I am doing a video all about self tanners and I've been testing out new self tanners for about a month now and my hands are redonkulous. I just want to let you know I'm full wear. They actually look a little bit better in real life than they do on camera, but 
I, it's all for reviewing purposes at the end of the day. So it's a little bit later in the day for me when I wanna do foundation and concealer wear tests, but my mom called me with horrible news that her dog passed away during surgery and it was very traumatic and it kind of slowed up my morning. So normally when I do a foundation or concealer wear test, I like to start like 9, 10. But right now it is almost noon. So that's it for the application. I will see you guys in my check-ins. Okay, everyone, I wanted to pop out here and show you guys what this Tarte concealer looks like in natural daylight. It is 525, so I've had the concealer on for about five and a half, almost six hours, but if I don't do it now, I'm gonna lose daylight, and I don't wanna lose daylight, so let's go ahead and zoom in. Okay, so you can see that this looks really good. I mean, it doesn't weigh heavy in the wrinkles or anything. It never gets cakey, it never looks gross. Every time I wear it, it always looks just really beautiful and really smooth. The only thing that I will say is about midday to the end of the day, I do start losing more coverage, uh, but I kind of don't mind that. Sometimes when you're wearing those super like full coverage concealers, and your foundation is starting to kind of fade away, it kind of looks ridiculous because you got this full coverage under eye and then the rest of your makeup isn't that full of coverage. So I actually don't mind that I start to kind of lose coverage in a very natural way throughout the day because it's kind of the natural progression that my foundation takes. So I actually quite like that um, it, it still maintains the hydration it doesn't get cakey. That's what I care more about than coverage um, as it starts to wear. I don't want it to look thick or heavy or cakey underneath the eye. So losing the coverage as it starts to kind of fade is not that big of a deal, which is the one main reason why I do apply it the way that I do. And I kind of, you know, wipe out the applicator and then go like this and kind of put it all the way on and let it set up for a second. It gives me the best coverage I can get out of it. And it does last me a little bit longer than, you know, putting a few dots and kind of spreading it out. But other than that, I just wanted to pop out here, show you guys what it looks like. I'm actually doing some check-ins for other products. So it's kind of easy for me to, you know, get it all done in one whack. But that's it for the six hour check-in on the concealer. I will see you guys all in my 12 hour check-in, which will also be my final thoughts. Okay, so I'm back to do my 12 hour check-in and give my final thoughts. So it is currently almost midnight. I just had to put eye drops in my eyes because I only slept five hours, you guys. I only had five hours of sleep last night and I've been editing. My eyes were so bloodshot, it was so bad. I was like, I cannot go on camera with those eyes. It was so bad. So I went ahead, I mean, if you guys have never heard of Lumify, it is a lifesaver. Oh my gosh, this stuff wakes me up in the morning. I love it. Okay, anyway, so I am actually gonna turn down the ring light so you can see. Now, again, I've started to lose some of the coverage right along here, which in my daylight check-in, I explained that I'm okay with how the coverage fades because my coverage on my foundation fades the same way. For example, when I wear the Hourglass Full Coverage Concealer, I really have to make sure that my the foundation that I'm wearing with is a long wearing foundation because I've worn that several times where I'm wearing it with maybe a little bit more of a dewier foundation or even like a foundation that doesn't last as long. And my concealer is just like full coverage and then my makeup is just kind of like starting to really wear off. So I actually like the natural progression of the concealer kind of matching the way that my foundation wears off. It kind they kind of they kind of pair up very well together. So losing the coverage throughout the day doesn't really bother me. But for those of you that want to maintain coverage for you know a full 12 hours, then that might be an issue for you. You could also use maybe a color corrector underneath it. Um, you know, maybe like the magic corrector is one of my favorites, but you could use a color corrector underneath it and give you that extra coverage to last you for longer. Um, but you can see that the main thing that the main thing about this concealer is that it is not dry, it's not creepy, it's not gross. It really looks beautiful for 12 hours later. 
I mean, you can see it's not like weighing heavy inside my wrinkles. And like I said, I've been wearing this for four months, so I know how this concealer wears. There has never been a time in the four months that I've worn this concealer that I haven't liked the way that it looks at the end of the night. There's never been a time that I've worn the concealer that it looks bad when I wore it. It's a very forgiving concealer. It's a very easy concealer to apply and it's a very dependable concealer. So you can see that my under eyes actually look really good for 12 hours later. So it's not gonna be a surprise. My final thoughts are, it's my favorite. I really, really love this concealer. It is definitely one of my top favorite concealers in my collection and I have a lot and I'm very picky about concealers. Concealers really have to be good for me to really love them and this one hits the mark. It gives me the best of all worlds. So it gives me the coverage that I want. It gives me the hydration that I need. It gives me that set down concealer feel where I don't really feel like I need to powder it because it sets down, but it still gives a little teeny bit of a luminous finish to where it doesn't emphasize those wrinkles underneath the eyes. So for me, it's the best of all of the worlds, and that's why I feel like it's one of my favorites. Now, this video was definitely more of an overview and not necessarily a review of it, so I hope that this video was helpful. I know it's a little bit different than the traditional reviews that I do, but because I'm so familiar with it and I've been wearing it for so long that I just felt very comfortable just giving you an overview about it versus just a full, um, review and comparing it to other concealers and all of that because I know how it wears and I don't really need to do comparisons side by side to be able to tell you how it compares to some of the other popular concealers that I've been wearing in my collection for a long time. So sound off down below in the comment section. Let us know how you guys are feeling about this new concealer from Tarte. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video. Love you. Bye.